Tati is back, you guys. I feel like the stars like perfectly aligned for this to happen today because number one, I am wearing textured neutrals, hello, volume one on my eyes today, particularly the shade Soothe, the glitter. I just have it all over my lid because in one of her videos, she had said that if you just put Soothe all over your lid, it looks amazing and it does, doesn't it? Tati is my favorite YouTuber. She's like my favorite personality, celebrity, influencer, whatever we're calling her. I just love Tati so much. So I am just so happy. I'm so grateful. I'm so excited. She's back. I just spit everywhere, gross. I didn't know that she was coming back until like five minutes before she posted the video, but I had planned on making a video that I wouldn't be making had it not been for a video of hers that I watched forever ago. So some of y'all might already be aware that the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick, particularly from the Le Macarons, <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right, but from this particular line, that this is one of my most favorite makeup products, period. I will link the video below where she talked about these because I just watched it like yesterday. Anybody else just been going back and watching some of Tati's old videos because they miss her? Just me? Great. The only thing that I haven't always loved about these liquid lipsticks in particular though is just the shade options that they have. So I think there's like six or seven from this line. There's like six or seven shades and these are really the only three that I have found work for me that I like to wear. And these are kind of bright shades. I'm definitely like a neutral nude lip kind of girl. And while these colors are beautiful, they're just kind of bright. And so I don't use them that often unless I do something really chill and neutral on my eyes. So these are the three that I really love from this collection. The first shade is called Praline de Paris. The second shade, this one is called Guava Gush. And this last one is called Framboise Frenzy. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Now that line within the Pro Mac liquid lipstick formula from L'Oreal is like the best formula I find. So they have like their just normal line that's been out for a while. This is what the packaging for those kind of looks like. This is the shade Matador. And while this formula is still pretty good, I just have never found it to be quite as good as these guys. Well, friends, I was shopping online at Ulta, as I tend to do every other hour of the day or so. And I noticed that in their like new makeup section, they had the L'Oreal Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick, th this one, they had it there. And it was like, it's new. And I was like, what? It's not new. So I went and looked and I, I believe what happened is they released some new shades because I noticed that some of them on there, one, I had never seen before, but two, they also had updated packaging. Check this out. So you see, they, they changed it to look more like this packaging. And I'm assuming, I'm assuming, I don't know if this is the case because I haven't really heard anybody talk about this, but I'm assuming that they've updated the formula and added some new shades. So I'm really hoping that the new formula is a lot more like this formula than this formula. So today I have six new, if not totally new, new to me anyways, shades from the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. I'm going to swatch everything on my hand, of course, and I'm going to try on all six of these shades. But when I try them on, I will not be leaving them on for very long. So it's literally gonna be like, Bruh! check it out, looks good, right? And then I'm gonna immediately take it off because they do not come off. And I really need you to hear me when I say this. They do not come off. If you have like oil or like a cleansing balm, you can get most of it off. But like these liquid lipsticks have some serious, serious stay power to them. 
and I'm so excited to try it. I think I'm going to start with the one that I'm, I'm not totally sure if it's actually a new shade because I feel like I've heard this name before, Petal Potion. Also, this one has the number 372 on the top, whereas all of the other five that are seemingly new to me are in the 800s. So this one might not actually be new. They may have just like updated the packaging. I don't know if they updated the formula or not, but I figured we could at least just start here. I have already peeked at some of them, I'm not gonna lie. So I can already tell you that I think this one is going to be one that I will really enjoy because it looks like my kind of color. Is that, the, those of you that watch me a lot, is that not like exactly the color that I am always trying to achieve? Like a mauvey pink, kind of neutral, a little bit muted. It's what I absolutely love. I'm gonna try it on, let you see it for the briefest of moments and then I'm gonna take it right off. <laughs> shade already existed, I don't know how I wasn't aware of it because I, let, let me take this off real quick. If I give this the opportunity to dry down, we're going to have a problem. It's like, all, I mean, you can see like it's already not wanting to come off. That'll have to be good. This is like literally my, my kind of like go to everyday shade. If this shade already existed, I don't know how I wasn't already aware of it because I have really like scoured through all of the different shades of this product that exist, as well as they're like, they have like a chocolate line within it as well. And I was not able to find anything other than like these four that I actually liked. And that's been my biggest criticism of this product is just that I wanted more shades and I wanted more everyday type of shades, like, you know, my everyday type of shade. Anywho, I'm gonna go next to this one called Barely Sunset, just because I don't think that this is gonna be like my favorite. By the way, I just picked up all of the ones that had the new packaging and that I felt like I had never seen before. Because like I said, I've scoured through all of the shades trying to find, oh, that's cute. That reminds me of the Patrick Ta cream lipstick that I, um, had the other day. Ooh, I like it. Oh my gosh. It is a little bit warmer and has a little more peachiness to it than I tend to prefer. It reminds me a lot of my little Patrick Ta cream lipstick. I do want to mention too that these smell really good. They have like a very sweet kind of candy-like smell. These guys, my Le Macaron or however you say it, they smell really good too. They smell like cake. I don't think that the OG formula had a smell though. I don't think it had an intentional smell. Okay, who should we do next? This one, Midnight Mauve. Ooh, smells good right here. Ooh, that's such a pretty color. Not very mauve though. I would I would describe this one as mauve the top one. This is like a like a like a reddish raspberry kind of color. But let's let's try it on. That is so pretty. Not my most precise work, that's for sure, but I gotta make quick work of this. I'm gonna describe these, this product, this formula a little bit more at the end. I just wanna keep it moving because like I said, if I let this dry down, it's over. <laughs> Okay, my makeup is already a little busted up. My lips are definitely starting to feel it, but we have three more shades to get through. All right, next up, I'm gonna do this one. This is called Red Affair. So the Matador one, this one, it's it makes for a nice red lip, but it is a little deep. So sometimes when I go for a red lip, oh my gosh, 
wow, look at that. That's more what I'm going for, right? Like that is so, so nice, so bright, so pretty. Um, so I'm excited for this one. Red is tricky though. Very nice. So again, not my most precise work. Doesn't matter because it's coming off right now. <sighs> Dos mas. So I'm gonna swatch these two and then decide which one I wanna end with. So this one is called Raspberry Rosé. Oh, that's cute. And this one is called Pink, I think, I think you say it, Pink Soy Ray, S-O-I-R-E with a little thing over it, E. Not gonna lie, I have already used this one and it's great. It's such a beautiful little pinky nude. Like, is that not the most perfect little pink nude that you've seen? Okay, so I'm going to lip swatch or try on, whatever, however you want to say it, this pink soy one. And I'm going to end on the raspberry rosé, just because I have worn this one and I haven't worn that one. So cute, right? Is that not the cutest? Oh, I just love it, but it has to come off immediately. One, two, three, right now, here we go. Now for the last one, I'm just gonna leave it. Hopefully I like the way that it looks on. Not gonna lie, it's not my most favorite swatch of the day. I mean, these three, like the more nude ones, honestly are like giving me life. And I'm just so happy that like I have some more neutral nudie type shades, but I am loving these, these pretty fun colors too, so. Today is a good day. I'm so happy with this. Oh, it's so pretty. I was like, oh, I don't know if this is going to be the shade, but girl, it is the shade. I'm so glad I ended on this one. It's gorgeous. So boom, there are the six shades that I believe are new shades. And if I missed any, uh, definitely let me know. As I mentioned, <laughs> this formula has some major stay power. If you are looking for something that won't transfer, will stay on your lips all day through eating, drinking, anything. Oh, hello. Just thought I would pop this in here real quick. I've had the lipstick on for about three, four hours at this point. I just thought I would update y'all on how it's going. As you can see, still fully intact. A little bit of it is coming off on my spoon, but that's because I'm going all in like, mm, like that. You see this happening though? <laughs> this is from all of the removing the lipstick this morning. Boom. Oh, what, 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 what? Look what my cat did to me. <laughs> also, look, I forgot to take the swatches off. So I don't know if I can do this, hold on. What? Isn't that crazy? Like when I said that this stuff had some stay power, I was not joking y'all. later. And it's not like your traditional matte formulas where it like really dries down to a like dry finish, you know? Some matte liquid lipstick formulas are better than others when it comes to that. But this one, what I like think of when I go to describe it is like, it's like a lacquer that fully dries down. So it's like, you know, most lip lacquers, they 
don't dry down fully and they, they will transfer. These to me have a similar kind of finish, but they do dry down completely and and won't transfer. If you layer it over itself, then it might transfer. You really only need to put like a thin layer of it on. These guys have that like triangle doe foot applicator with the hole in the middle of it so that you don't have to keep dipping back in. Sometimes I did, but it's mostly because I wipe off a lot of the product before I go in to apply it. So I'll of course have to see how they all wear. Whenever I wore, where'd she go? Whenever I wore this shade Pink Soy Ray, or however you say it, I wore this the other day and I wore it all day. I did have a little bit of trouble. I noticed after I ate, it kind of like, not like ran out, but I did like smear it onto a, like the sides of my mouth a little bit, not too bad. And that could just be because I was sweating when I noticed that had happened, but it really was not that big of a deal. And it kind of, I just had to like wipe it away and it was fine but the color stayed on all day. And I found this formula to be very consistent with this formula. They do take some time to dry down. They definitely don't dry down immediately, fully anyways. Like I, I had to take them off really, really quick because I didn't want that color to stay on my mouth. But for them to fully dry down, it does take a moment. And you might feel a little bit of like, not stickiness, but stickiness, I don't know. <laughs> I kind of will just dab my lips like this. And I find that that helps a little bit. Also, if you, like I said, layer it over itself, then you're gonna get a little bit of transfer. So once it is fully dried down, it's not a bad idea to kind of do this or like blot it on a piece of paper or something just to get any excess off. Because girl, the color's not gonna go anywhere. I promise you, like it, ooh, it's, stays on and that is what I love about it. It stays on without fully drying your lips out. So it's just so good. I realize that it's not for everyone because sometimes that kind of like feeling whatever of just it being just a touch tacky still, I know that that drives some people crazy. To me, it's totally bearable and it doesn't last that feeling doesn't last, like it will dry down eventually. I just am obsessed. I love it so, so, so much. So I'm so pumped that they have these new shades because that has been what I have longed for, for like years now, like a couple years, like since I first tried these guys, it's just like, I want more shades. So let me know what you guys think. Which shade did you like the best? Are you going to pick any of these up? Let me know what you guys think. As always, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Okay. Okay. Bye.